testing out the Timo Air Hype Lake blow dryer, which I'm super, super excited because today's video is also sponsored by Timo. I'm in love with all of their heating tools. One of the reasons being is that Timo's products are very effective in drying the hair, preventing heat damage, and aided for very thick curly hair like myself. So every single time I use their products, it's always a win-win. And one of the reasons why I'm excited about this particular dryer is that it is supposed to be the dupe for the Dyson Supersonic which has been really hot on the market. It has basically all of the same exact pros that is compared to the time of now, if you know, like I know. It's a little on the costly side and sometimes it's really hard for us to dish out all of that money when we have other expenses that we have to handle. I actually did buy the dryer a few years ago. I'll definitely link it so you guys can see. I did a whole video on it, but I did not keep it. It was just too costly. I don't really blow dry my hair that much, so Honestly, I could have used the funds for something else. Why wouldn't you want to try something that's half the price and it's still going to get the job done? Today, I'm going to do just that for you guys. If you guys are interested to see how well it dries my thick curly hair, stay tuned to watch the video. I would also love if you would subscribe if this is your first time here. And if you don't want to subscribe, just give the video a thumbs up because it does help me. Without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. Inside, of course, comes the dryer as well as a smoothing nozzle. If you're interested in purchasing the comb or the diffuser, you can definitely check that out on their website, but this is how it comes. A new generation of hair dryer that combines exceptional power and performance. This dryer is super lightweight, which I absolutely love because as you know, it's already a struggle when you have thick hair. Thick hair and a heavy dryer is just only gonna make the process a nightmare, so I can appreciate that. It's easy to hold, it's easy to grip, and one of the things that I love about it is that it comes in four heating settings, room temperature, low, which is 140 degrees, medium, 180 degrees, and high, which is 210 degrees. Three speeds, low, medium, high, depending on your preference, with a power and cool shot, speed setting and heat setting, a temperature and speed indicators. Listen, y'all, it has a motor speed of 110,000 RPMs, and that is super fast, which means your hair is gonna dry in half of the time, super lightweight and compact, stable, low temperatures, powerful airspeed, prevents heat damage, which is one of my biggest, biggest, biggest concerns. It also brings out the shininess in your hair, and it's super quiet, which means you can do it any time of the day, even when people are asleep in the house. It's great for traveling on the go. Put it in your purse before you go to work, if you just left the gym, whatever, you're going on vacation, whatever. It's compact enough to just bring it in your, put it in your bag, and just go. So my hair is freshly washed. Deep condition. Never want to blow dry on dirty hair. You guys know that already. So what I'm gonna do is, as always, nothing changes with me. My routine never changes. It's pretty much the same. I'm just gonna section my hair off. Especially when you have thick hair, you wanna work in small sections. So I'm just gonna split it off and work in the back. It has been wet for a good three hours. I was hoping that it would be a little more drier. So before I blow dry my hair or put any heating tools on it, I'm going to use a heat protectant. This is such a great brand. I absolutely love this heat protectant. Let's go back in and ensure that there are no knots. It's nice and smooth before you blow dry. I think we're ready to go. And so I wanna see for myself how fast my hair will actually dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a timer, see how long it takes for me to blow dry this one section. Y'all, minutes and 22 seconds. For this piece but listen usually I split my hair into three sections so if, if you do the math it's about two minutes per section my hair should be done in under 15 minutes see if we can get that done but my hair feels so soft shiny I can run my fingers right through it like that y'all see it so far so good so I'm just gonna do the rest of this side and then we're gonna do a comparison so you can see 
doing good or not. Mm -mm. See what I'm talking about? You better, you have got to detangle before you try to blow dry your hair. Now my hair is fully blow dried and I want to give you my overall thoughts of using the Timo Air Hype light dryer. I will say that I was very pleased with the fast speed drying time. The blow drying process was literally cut in half. On a good day, when I'm blow drying my hair, it usually takes me up to 45 minutes to an hour. Just all depends on like my energy. This dryer it literally took me 20 minutes to do both sides of my head, splitting them into three sections each. It was like one, two, three. That's something that I'm definitely here for because like I said, I do not, I repeat, I do not like to spend hours in my hair, hence why my hair is always in a bun or a ponytail because I'm one of those naturals who are lazy. But from time to time, I do enjoy a nice blowout. So as you can see, my hair is in a lion mane, but it's only to show you guys how effective the blow dryer is, not to say that this was a silk press look that I was going for. You must buy this, you must get your hands on this because it's fast drying, no heat damage, and even on the lowest setting, it's still gonna dry your hair in half that time. You don't even have to put it to the highest speed to get your hair to dry. It's so powerful and effective that it's gonna give you that dry look very quickly, and so that's what you want. It's light, it's effective, it's great for traveling on the go, anybody can use it, and it's also very affordable. I think that's like the best part about this, the affordability. In today's time, everything is very pricey. And again, I've tried the Dyson in the past and don't get me wrong, it's a great blow dryer. It's super cute, presentation wise. It does blow dry your hair fast, but I just think that Emo's in comparison with it. It's literally a dupe. It does exactly what the Dyson does, but it's cut in less than a half of the price. You know, the Dyson is almost $500 and the Timo is literally $99.99. Literally $300 difference and you're still gonna get the same exact effect. So that's pretty much it. I did this to show you guys that it works. It works on my thick hair. I have really, really, really thick hair, long hair at that, so just try it out. I think you should just try it out. It works for all hair types. It doesn't have to just be for thick hair, curly hair, kinky hair. It can be for finer hair. Just try it, invest in it, save some money. It doesn't feel dry, it doesn't smell burnt, and I got the job done one, two, three, so now I can go on about my day, go on about my business, and finish styling my hair like I want to. So that's pretty much it. I will be sure to link everything in the description below so you can check out their website. If you don't want a blow dryer, you're looking for other heating tools, they have so many great things on their website as well. I'll be sure to link everything. Just go in the description. Some shopping, y'all. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to close the video out here. Thank you guys so much for watching and a huge thanks to Timo for sponsoring today's video. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next upload. Simply share. Simply share. Oh. Oh, you're watching her on YouTube